Here we go. Take it away, Jasper. Well, I'm here with Adrian Gonzalez. And Adrian, this ballpark, these fans, and this team is unlike any other. How's that feel to you? Oh, it's unbelievable. It's a, it's, it's a great ex uh, experience every day. You know, having you here is, is, is unbelievable. And, uh, you know, having people from uh, different states all over uh, Red Sox Nation and uh, the upper Northeast over here is, is, is awesome. And uh, it's a great feeling. On your West Coast road trip, everything started to click for you guys. What happened there? We came back east. No, uh, no, it's, uh, you know, baseball is a funny game. It'll give and take. And right now it's taking away from us. But, uh, you know, it'll turn around and give us some, some uh, going forward. So we're going to improve in May, right? So what do you think you can improve upon in May? Winning more games. I know we, we lost more than we won in April, so hopefully we can turn it around and win some more games. Uh, you know, just play play, play the, game of better, the game of baseball better. Adrian, thanks so much. <laughs> He's got a future. He's pretty good. Jasper Goodman getting it done. Me talk, Peter. Second, we're going to talk uh, baseball with Jasper here. You're okay. obviously a Red Sox fan. A lot of talk about Bobby Valentine, whether this team's ready to play this year. What's your take? Well, Bobby Valentine is quite a character. He runs them very differently than Tito Francona did in spring training. They have worked harder this year than they ever have before. They're an underdog this year, Kagan. SI, ESPN has them finished third in AL in the AL East. Any disappointments uh, going into the season? Well, the Red Sox bullpen looks like it's going to have some problems, and Bobby Valentine is trying to cover that up with mm -hmm. his uh, good rotation. Well, this weekend marks the start of the NFL playoffs, and as you can see, it's a beautiful morning at Foxborough, although you don't have your jacket on. Jasper Goodman joins us. He's our 11-year-old sports analyst, and uh, you, you cold? Yeah, it's a little bit chilly here in uh, at Gillette. But oh well. I didn't quite bring the Bill Belichick sweatshirt and the hoodie there. For That's okay. Arms. I think you're better off wearing a, a Saints jersey. Yeah, the Pats aren't playing this weekend, so I thought I'd pull for the Saints. Well, Jasper, let's talk football, especially let's talk about the Patriots. Everyone's been talking about quarterback Tom Brady's shoulder. Is that going to be a problem in the playoffs, and how important do you think it is that he stays healthy? You know, he has to stay healthy. I don't think that the Patriots can go very far without Tom Brady healthy. However, it's not his throwing shoulder that's hurt, so mm -hmm. I think he'll be all right. I think he'll be okay. Here are some clips from my weekly sports show that I co-host with Ken Squire every Tuesday on WDEV. Well, I think before we do anything else tonight, Jasper, we ought to talk about the Celtics because tonight's their big night, right? It, it is tonight. It's uh, the Boston Celtics at the Atlanta Hawks, 8 o'clock tip time on that, and Doc Rivers says he is going to have all of his players ready to go tonight. Everybody, all the old guys, all those 34 and 35-year-olds. Avery Bradley, who hurt his shoulder, is going to be back uh -huh. playing, as is Michael Petras, who hurt his hand. Now, here are some clips from our Radio Vermont Sports call-in special that I co-hosted with Mal Bowright on the day before Red Sox opening day. And, uh, okay, let's go to Josh in Montpelier. Good evening, Josh. Good evening. How are you guys doing? Fine. I was wondering, Jasper, who do you think is going to be the most challenging opponent for the Red Sox this year? Well, obviously, in the AL East, there's always a big rivalry with the Yankees, and that's going to be a big one for the Sox because they play the most games against the people in their division. And in the end, that's what it comes down to is playing the Yankees. But uh, the other team in the American League who looks really strong is the L.A. Angels, and they made the move of all moves this offseason by picking up Albert Pujols. Both of those teams look very strong, so watch out for both of them. Okay, thanks. Now, here are some clips from interviews that I have done with various Red Sox players and front office executives. These interviews were pre-recorded for broadcast on WDEV. I'm joined now on WDEV by General Manager Ben Charrington. Ben, a lot of people are calling this year a rebuilding stage for you guys. Are you playing it like that? No, we don't. We don't see it as a rebuilding. You guys lost a couple key veteran players, Tim Wakefield, Jason Veritek, this off season. How's that going to affect the team? Well, both those guys. I'm joined now on WDEV by David Ortiz. David, uh, going into spring training this year, what can you personally change from last year? I'm the kind of guy that I like to improve myself every year. So. 
There was a lot of talk about what was going on behind the scenes for the Red Sox last year. How much of that do you think should be let out to the press and how much should stay in the clubhouse? At the beginning of the season last year, your team had a rough start. What can they do to change that this year? 